Radio Raheem here with Dana White, fight pioneer, president of the UFC. This is a huge eve for you. You're on Fox News. You've been in this game 10 years. It's been a long time. Over that time, the UFC has evolved. It was very, very brutal in the beginning. You know, very few rules. People love that. But you got complaints. Now that you're stepping into the broadcast arena, are you at all concerned that there may be some pressure to tone it down again? No. Uh, when you talk about um, the, the violence back then and the no rules and all this stuff, on this Saturday, it will be the 18th year anniversary of the UFC. 18 years. In the 18-year history, there has never been a death or serious injury. Ever. Cheerleading can't say that. Okay? So... You know, I think what we're going to have, we're going to have a situation where, yeah, you might flip around on the channel and, and you, might, uh, you might not be a fan. You know what you do? You change the channel. That's what you do. This isn't uh, 1986 where you got channel 3, channel 5, uh, channel 8, and channel 13. There's a thousand channels. When I'm flipping around and I land on golf, you know what I do? I go, what the hell is this? And I change the channel. And there's another, you know, 999 channels to look for something else to watch. Now, just like there's boxing purists, there's UFC purists, and some of them are concerned that maybe the Fox influence and the broadcast network may influence you to pick matches differently or influence you on how you run the UFC, the kind of brand that you've built up. Right. Should they be concerned about that? Are you collaborating with Fox more so than any other yeah. entity? They should absolutely not be worried about that. I would never enter into a deal, let alone a seven-year deal, where the UFC couldn't control its own destiny and, and uh, control the product. So, yeah, no, they're our partners. They're going to give us some input and some advice, which we want from them. They're the best in the business. I mean, Fox Sports, you look at David Hill. David Hill is, is a legend in the industry, revolutionized the NFL, uh, Major League Baseball, NASCAR, and the way that it was produced and shot. Um, so why would I not want his input and suggestions? But in no way, shape, or form are these guys coming in and, and saying, hey, we know more about the fight business than you do, which is a big problem in the cable television business. You know, Don King just did an interview the other day. And, and they asked him about, what, what do you think the biggest problem in the fight business is? He said, cable television, these guys that are involved in cable television, they think they're matchmakers, they think they're promoters, they think they want to be fight managers, and they don't know jack about the fight business, but they think they do. That's the problem. I could not agree with Don King more. Now, another thing Don King said was somewhat of a threat. He threw it out there, uh, you know, off the hip. It seemed like he may be interested in getting into the UFC, or not the UFC, but MMA and possibly challenging the UFC, you've had your back and forth with some boxing promoters. you ever see a day when you may be working in concert with a boxing promoter or maybe even you crossing over into the boxing game? You've had so much success here at the UFC MMA. No. Uh, you know, I, I respect what all the old school guys have done in boxing, you know, and, and I, I, I'm a fan. And, and I've taken some of the things that they did right and some of the things that they did wrong, and it's helped me build the UFC. But... Um, you know, Don King's 80 years old. From what I hear, Don's health isn't that good. You know, Don King's a promoter, man. He's, he's, a, he's a natural born promoter. And I think it's Don, you know, just keeping himself out there. And yeah, maybe I'll take a run at the UFC and, and get into MMA, but I, I doubt he's going to. On Saturday, you're not going to be going up head up against uh, uh, Bob Arum and Pacquiao. They're going to come on a little later than you, but there has been this back and forth. Uh, have you settled those that bad blood at all? You seem to be uh, kind of backing off some of those statements. No, I'm not backing down off of anything. Bob Arum's an idiot. He's a moron. I can't stand him, um, but I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan. And, yes, Saturday night, we're going to go on 6 o'clock on the West Coast, 9 o'clock on the East Coast. We're going to be an hour. You can see... The UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World for free on Fox. Then an hour later, Manny Pacquiao will walk out and he'll fight. And I hope, because it's a night, a big night of fights that everybody stays home, I hope Manny Pacquiao makes a billion dollars. I hope they do an incredible pay-per-view. Uh, the only downside to that is that Bob Arum actually gets a piece of that money too. And uh, But I, yeah, I'm a huge Manny Pacquiao fan and the biggest non-Bob Arum fan. Just to give you a chance to respond to his criticism, he says the only reason you can do UFC on Fox and have this kind of success is because you don't pay your fighters. Because they only get 20% at the most of the purse. You're keeping mm -hmm. all the money and, and you're forcing these guys into fights that right. they can't. They don't have any recourse. How do you respond to that? <laughs> right. Uh, well, Bob Arum has no clue what we pay our fighters, okay? He, he couldn't be any more wrong. Uh, Bob Arum's doing, you know, he's got 
one guy, you know, and, and he'll take and have other guys fight that guy. One guy that's making that kind of money. Bob Arum doesn't have a roster as deep as mine where he's employing these guys and these guys are fighting three to four times a year. Um, he's not bringing up any new talent the way that we are. Bob Arum shut down his gym in Las Vegas. He doesn't even have a gym anymore. You know, this, this guy knows nothing about this business. He knows nothing about the fans who watch it, the, 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 the demographic, the, uh, the money that's involved, what the money, what the fighters make. You know, Bob Arum just, 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 you know, just talks and, and everything he says is wrong and, and he makes absolutely no sense. Thank you, Dana White. Good luck on Saturday, November 12th, Fox Broadcast Live, UFC.